We live in a time when billionaires build private space rockets and launch celebrities into orbit. As much as exploring space would be wonderful, there's something closer to home we should probably finish exploring first, the ocean. Vast areas of the world's oceans remain unexplored, which is a huge shame, as when people do explore them, they often come up with finds like the ones you're about to see in this video. You've heard of the Milky Way, but have you ever heard of the Milky Seas? If not, we're delighted to introduce them to you. The strangely colored waters are the largest bioluminescent area in the world. The expanse is just off the coast of Somalia, but somehow managed to go undetected by scientists until 2005. The lack of official confirmation didn't stop stories from circulating, though. Sailors have claimed to have seen the White Sea and sailed through it for centuries, and now their stories have been confirmed. The area, which is around the same size as the U.S. state of Connecticut, even gets a passing mention in the classic Jules Verne novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Scientists ignored the claims for years because they thought that the concentration of bacteria that would be required to produce such an effect was impossible. But Steve Miller decided he was going to prove or disprove the phenomenon once and for all. All he needed to do was compare the logs of the SS Lima, which claimed to have sailed through the area in 1995, which meteorological satellite data from the same night. When he did, the truth was staring him straight in the face. It's thought that the effect is caused by a bacteria called Vibrio harvii, although how such a large congregation of it exists is a mystery. Scientists from Project Recover have located two B-25 bombers, iconic aircraft from World War II that disappeared over 70 years ago in the water off Papua New Guinea. The Pacific Ocean around Papua New Guinea witnessed significant military action during the war, resulting in the loss of numerous aircraft and soldiers, some of whom remain missing. The collaborative effort between scientists from the University of California, San Diego, the University of Delaware, and the nonprofit organization BentProp aimed to locate missing aircraft and associated artifacts from World War II. Through mapping the seafloor and conducting surveys, the team discovered the debris field of a B-25 bomber that had been missing for over 70 years. The wreckage damaged and covered in corals and marine life requires advanced technologies for identification. The documentation of these findings can aid the U.S. government in correlating missing soldiers with the discovered aircraft site and evaluating it for possible remains recovery. During the project, the team learned from local tribal elders about additional burial sites and other aircraft crashes on land, highlighting the historical significance and intergenerational transmission of these events. A groundbreaking study using high-resolution radar satellites has uncovered an astonishing 19,000 undersea volcanoes, presenting scientists with an unprecedented catalog of seamounts. The comprehensive research, recently published in the journal Earth and Space Science, offers valuable insights into ocean currents, plate tectonics, and climate change. Prior to this study, only a quarter of the Earth's seafloor has been mapped using sonar technology. The new findings surpass previous estimations, revealing that there are still over 27,000 uncharted seamounts. By harnessing the capabilities of radar satellites, scientists can not only measure ocean height, but also explore the hidden depths of the ocean, providing a more accurate depiction of the seafloor topography. The data collected from various satellites, including the European Space Agency's Christosat-2, allows for the detection of underwater mounds as small as 3,609 feet tall, enabling estimations of undersea volcano heights with remarkable precision. These discoveries have already contributed to the mapping of seamounts in the Northeast Atlantic Ocean, shedding light on the evolution of a mantle plume, feeding Icelandic volcanoes, and enhancing our understanding of ocean currents and upwellings. The wealth of knowledge derived from these radar satellite observations opens up exciting possibilities for further scientific exploration and investigation of undersea phenomena. In a remarkable scientific achievement, researchers have recorded footage of the deepest fish ever observed, swimming at a staggering depth of 27,231 feet underwater near Japan. The fish, belonging to an unidentified species of snailfish within the Pseudolaparis genus, 
was captured on film in the Izu Agasawara Trench during a two-month expedition conducted by scientists from the Mindaroo University of Western Australia Deep Sea Research Center and the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology. The team, using high-tech unmanned submersibles known as landers, deployed baited cameras to explore the Japan Izu Ogasawara and Ryukyu trenches. This discovery marks the first time fish have been collected from depths exceeding 27,000 feet. The findings shed light on the adaptability of snailfish, which possess specific physiological features, enabling them to thrive at extreme depths, including the absence of swim bladders and scales and the helpful presence of two separate jaws. By overcoming the challenges of pressure and temperature, these resilient creatures have demonstrated their ability to survive in the most inhospitable reaches of the ocean. The question remains though, could there still be fish living at even greater depths than this? Researchers have made the fascinating discovery of a glass labyrinth created by an underwater volcanic eruption in the Mariana Trench back arc in the Western Pacific. The eruption, which occurred between 2013 and 2015, resulted in the formation of a labyrinthine network of glassy black lava that stretches approximately four and a half miles across the ocean floor. The structure, situated nearly three miles below the ocean surface, is greater in depth than Mount Rainier's height above sea level making it the world's deepest eruption of its kind. The exploration team unexpectedly stumbled upon the glass palace while searching for hidden hydrothermal vents using robotic submersibles. Led by marine geologist Bill Chadwick from Oregon State University, the scientists observed the sediment-free surface of venting of fresh hydrothermal fluid, indicating the recent cooling of the lava. The discovery is significant as it provides insights into the chemical and biological characteristics of underwater eruptions, shedding light on previously unexplored aspects of volcanic activity in the ocean. The unusual area has been poetically nicknamed the Garden of Glass and is arguably just as beautiful as any garden you'll find on land. The Trans Bay Tube is an engineering marvel that connects the cities of San Francisco and Oakland in California, USA. It serves as a vital transportation link, allowing trains to travel beneath the San Francisco Bay. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Trans Bay Tube is the section that goes underwater, spanning a distance of approximately three and a half miles. Constructing a tunnel underwater presents unique challenges, but engineers devised an innovative solution. To create the tube, large precast concrete sections called tunnel elements were fabricated on land. These elements, weighing up to 50,000 tons each, were then floated into position and submerged onto a prepared trench at the bottom of the bay. Gravel and rock were then placed around the tunnel elements to provide stability and protection, ensuring that they remained in place rather than simply drifting across the bottom of the bay. The construction of the Trans Bay Tube took place from 1965 to 1969, and it was open for service in 1974. Since then, the tube has played a key role in facilitating convenient and efficient transportation between San Francisco and Oakland, benefiting commuters and residents alike. Moving around the coast of Florida in the USA, we find a company offering families a unique place to have the remains of their departed loved ones interred for all eternity. Gone are the days when the only way to bury the deceased was a coffin. You can now be laid to rest almost any way you desire and that includes becoming part of a living ocean reef. Depending on your spiritual beliefs, you might even like to think of it as a second life. The company's called Eternal Reefs, and for the right price, they'll add your mortal remains to domes known as reef balls, which are fastened to the ocean floor and provide marine life with a place to call home. There's an environmental edge to the work the company does. The coastal reefs around Florida have been noted to be deteriorating so creating new ones will hopefully offset at least some of the damage. Each ball is made with the ashes of cremated human beings mixed with cement, forming perforated structures that weigh anything up to 4,000 pounds each. It'd take quite a storm to move them once they're in place. The USAT Liberty, a United States Army cargo ship, met a tragic fate when it was torpedoed by the Japanese submarine I-166 in January 1942 near Bali, Indonesia. 
Originally built as a design 1037 ship for the United States Shipping Board during World War I, it served as the USS Liberty in the United States Navy. Notably, it was the first ship constructed at Federal Shipbuilding in Kearney, New Jersey. In 1963, a volcanic eruption caused the shipwreck to shift from the beach to its current location, where it's become a popular dive site. The wreck lies in water depths ranging from 25 to 100 feet off the coast of Talamban in Bali, Indonesia. Divers can explore the marine life and coral formations that adorn the ship's remains, offering an immersive experience. As they navigate through the wreckage, they witness the incredible resilience of nature, with vibrant corals and a myriad of colorful fish transforming the once majestic vessel into an underwater habitat. This submerged relic serves as a poignant reminder of the historical events it witnessed and the lasting impact of war on the marine environment. But it also stands as a testament to the power of time and the fascinating interplay between human history and the natural world. The British sculptor Jason DeCares Taylor is famous for the works of art he creates underwater. Some of the best of his work can be found close to Peminyang in Indonesia and goes by the collective name of Nest. The underwater sculpture park, which is intended to serve as an artificial coral reef, can be found close to the Gili Islands, especially Gili Meno. Taylor created 48 life-size sculptures to be sent to the bottom of the sea there, all of which were taken from casts of real people who volunteered to be immortalized as part of the project. The artist says that these sculptures symbolize the circle of life, some of them represent humans in old age or even on the verge of death. But sea life, like sponges, coral, and algae, grow on their surfaces. His work is made of environmental-grade concrete and is designed to decay. So at some point in the future, the statues will crumble away to nothing. Between now and then, they'll play an important role in protecting the local ecosystem and even encouraging sea creatures to create permanent homes here. Nearly eight years after its creation, the League of Legends artificial reef, inspired by Nautilus, continues to thrive at the bottom of Moreton Bay in Australia. In 2015, the gaming community collaborated with developer Riot Games to establish this unique ecological habitat. Recently, a local diver shared an update on the reef's progress through a series of images on Reddit. The diver provided insight into the reef's transformation over the years. The images showcase the initial sinking, followed by its evolution over the years that followed. The reef has witnessed remarkable growth, with vegetation covering parts of the Nautilus statue and the reef ball base, creating a diverse habitat for various marine creatures. The League of Legends project serves a vital purpose, providing a sanctuary for marine life. It also proudly displays a plaque featuring the names of 42,006 summoners who contributed to its creation during Ocean Week 2015. Each point earned by players winning games as Ocean Week champions or in pre-made groups played a significant role in the reef's development. The League of Legends community's collaboration has resulted in a remarkable underwater marvel that continues to foster marine life and exemplifies the power of gaming initiatives in real-world conservation efforts. Once upon a time, Port Royal in Jamaica was known as the wickedest city in the world. During the late 17th century, it was a lawless place and a focus of pirate activity and drunken debauchery. Allegedly, as many as one in four of all the buildings there was either a bar or a brothel, and some of them were both. Incredibly strong rum was brewed here, and the stolen money was accepted in the bars and hostelleries with no questions asked. When a huge earthquake struck the area and sank half of the city in 1692, many people of the time viewed it as a punishment from God. 33 acres of the land which had been built on sand was sucked below the waves. Despite being below 40 feet of water, many of the old buildings and artifacts are still so well-preserved that some experts compare it to Pompeii in terms of historical significance. Many items from below have washed up on the shore over the years, including a 1686 pocket watch stopped at 1143, the exact time the earthquake struck on June 7th during that fateful year. All of us are familiar with the sight of enormous factory chimneys in towns and cities that belch smoke into the sky. 
But how many of you knew that the same thing also happened as a natural occurrence underwater? The phenomenon is known as a black smoker, and the biggest one ever seen was documented off the coast of Costa Rica in 2007, eight and a half thousand feet below sea level. Positioned on a volcanic ridge, this all-natural mineral chimney emits hot, dark water that looks exactly like thick, dark smoke. In the process, it attracts tropical marine life of a kind that's rarely, if ever, seen anywhere else beneath the waves. That marine life includes pink Stata jellyfish and spiky tube worms that have encased the vent of the chimney and helped to explain why this black smoker has been officially named the Medusa Hydrothermal Vent Field. At the mouth of the vent, the temperature of the water is a boiling 635 degrees Fahrenheit. Under normal circumstances, it would boil, but the water pressure this far beneath the sea is so great that it prevents the process from happening. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching.